how to make quick, easy and cheap trees for your game board. Hi there and welcome to Good Enough Scenery. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tree that looks pretty much exactly like this. It's quick, it's easy, it's cheap. Uh, let's get into it. So to start off with this, you are going to need something called florist's wire, which is very, very cheap. You can get a whole bunch of them for about five pounds and you'll get enough to make an entire forest. So cut it into kind of short lengths and then what I'm doing here is I'm just bending the bottoms of them and this is going to form like the roots of the tree. And to start with, all you're going to be doing is just taking a bunch of them and just twisting them together. And once you've kind of got a kind of vague strength to it, is to start adding more of them, wrapping them around, and bending them in, into a position so they look a little bit like branch shapes. So you can add as many of these as you like. You can make the tree as tall as you like. Um, you can make it as thick as you like. Um, but essentially you want to end up with something that looks um, a, a little something like this and then you know, adding as many wires as you want. Uh, it's, it's really easy stuff to work with. You don't need any special tools or anything. It's just really easy to bend thin metal. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna end up with something like that. Doesn't look like a lot like a tree at the moment, but uh, that's where the next step comes in. So you are gonna need a glue gun for this, and the glue gun's gonna do two things. So I've just got a, a, a bit of MDF here, thin MDF that I'm attaching it to. And what I'm doing here is I'm going along the roots with the glue gun. And this is doing two things. It's bulking out the uh, the structure of the tree, but it's also obviously going to be gluing the tree to the base at the same time. Now, this is going to form the main structure of the whole thing and provide it with some strength and provide essentially what it's going to look like. So what I'm doing here with the glue gun is just going up the outside and just essentially casing it and forming an entire layer of glue around this uh, this tree wire structure that we've made. And then taking a little bit more care, just to kind of slowly go along the branches, just to add even more um, thickness to them, because when they're wire, they're, they're not really tree-like at all. So this is gonna take a little bit of time, but I think it doesn't actually take that many glue sticks. I think maybe I used two, two and a half mini gun glue sticks. Um, so not a lot. So it's important to come, for, come it from every angle and you want to cover up the wire. And then here what I'm doing is I'm adding more roots. So I'm essentially just drawing a root shape with the glue gun. Um, you can't see these particularly well here, but in a moment in the next step I will be undercoating it and then you can really see what it's all about. But that's what you end up with. It looks kind of cool, just that wire thing just encased in a hot glue gun glue, so yeah. Uh, next we're gonna undercoat it here, so I've just used um, Chaos Black, you can use any black undercoat. Um, you can use a different color undercoat, but I wanted to go with black with this one. Uh, and then you'll see here what those roots look like. I think they look really, really awesome. Uh, next step, I've just got some cheap brown paint. This is literally one pound of bottle paint and I've covered the whole thing. Don't need to worry about being too neat on the base because we'll be doing something else with the base in a bit, but uh, covering the whole of the tree in this kind of cheap brown paint. Uh, and next up, we're gonna get some uh, PVA glue and we're gonna paint the entire base, getting into all of the cracks with that glue so that we can add some flock. Now the flock I'm using is uh, Battlefield Scatter from uh, Javis Scenics. Uh, I'm just gonna sprinkle this all over, trying to get it into all of the gaps. And this really adds something, because um, other than looking like it belongs somewhere, it uh, adds something to the roots, I think, because it makes them look more real, like they're diving into the ground. So you can see what that begins to look like here. And uh, now we're gonna add some more paint detail. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to. But what I've done here is I've taken some beastly brown from Vallejo Paints, um, or is it Vallejo? Um, either way, some cheap um, ac acrylic light brown here. And I'm just adding some patches of lighter brown, just in a few different areas. You don't have to worry about being too neat or too artistic, because I'm certainly not. And then I'm taking some this, this uh, black wash and adding some of the same color I've just used here. So this kind of thinned down like very dark brown. I'm just kind of trying to uh, blend these lighter areas in with the, the tree color. So I'm just kind of going down the edge of the areas that I've painted 
and just trying to make it all kind of flow and look like the tree is not just one solid color because trees are very much not just one solid color. So hope you can see what I'm doing with that and that ends up with you looking a little something like that. Um, it looks a little bit different once it's dry. Uh, and then here I've, just, where I've trimmed down the base, I'm just adding some, uh, some color there. And then to finish this off, there's, there's two things. So um, here I'm, I'm adding some moss. So the same thing, just uh, putting some PVA glue. And I think trees tend to build up moss on one side, apparently. So I've mainly put, um, I think it's north. I don't know why. I could be wrong. Anyway, I've uh, added some PVA glue down one side, and I'm using some of this coarse grass from uh, Javis Scenics. And this coarse stuff is kind of difficult to work with. So it doesn't sprinkle like other flock does. So you kind of just have to, like, just press it on. Uh, it's a little bit messy, so you can see I'm just pressing it down there and it kind of holds on a little bit. But wherever I put glue, I've just added some of this coarse grass so it ends up looking a bit like moss. Um, and then the only other thing uh, to do after this was just because of the paint I used, it was looking a little bit shiny. So I just used some dull coat varnish just to kind of finish it off. So that's how you make quick, cheap and easy trees for your wargaming scenery. Really hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, please like if you've liked it, please add any comments you've got and subscribe to the channel so you can make more good enough scenery for your gaming board. Catch you soon.